Hi, and welcome to another session on number systems. In this video, we are going to discuss indices and thirds, or powers given to the numbers, right? So what do we mean by powers or what do we mean by an index? An index is a, if you look at the dictionary meaning, is a sign or a measure. So in number systems and algebra, uh, an index is a sign put on top of a number to indicate something. So, so what is it that is indicated and what is the implication and what is the meaning is what we'll try to understand. So let's start with an example. So say in your calculations, uh, you end up in a place where you have to do 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, into two or 2 multiplied by itself 5 times, right? So what you can do is, let's say if it was only 5 times, maybe you can write it down easily enough or you can calculate the value also. You can calculate the value of 2 into 2 into 2 5 times as 32. So that is easy enough. But what if you had to do 2 into 2 100 times, right? or a 2 into 2 10,000 times, uh, would you write it down on a piece of paper? That will like, occupy a lot of space, right? So is there a shorthand for that? Is there a notation or a sign that we can use to compress this information? Yes, there is. And that sign is the indice or that is the index of the number, right? So the basic idea being there are five twos here. I put them all together into one two and I put that number five on top, right? So 2 is my base and 5 becomes my power. There are many ways of expressing this. You can say 2 raised to the power of 5 or 2 to the power of 5 or 2 is the base and 5 is the index, right? So that is the basic idea. It is very, very easy. It is about uh, compressing information. It is, about, it, it is basically about a shorthand system of writing down numbers, right? So if you have a lot of a repeating number, you can put them all together and as many, the, the number of times a number is repeating, you can put it on top as an index, right? So let's look at more examples. So you had, say you have 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3, right? That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So 3 has to be multiplied by itself or 3 has to be multiplied by 3 7 times, right? So how do we write this in the power form or in the index form? 3 is our base and it is repeating 7 times. So I put all the 3's together. This is just a visualization, it's not really happening. But if I put all the 3's together and I take that count of 7 and put it on top of the 3. So my 3 is the base and my 7 is the exponent, the index, the power, right? So I hope you're getting the idea. So now we should move in the other direction and let's say if I see a number written and it says 7 raised to 4. So 7 is the base and 4 is the power or the exponent. What does 7 raised to 4 mean? If I want to open it up, it means 7 into 7 into 7 into 7 or 7 multiplied by itself 4 times, right? I hope the idea is getting clearer now. Okay, so we know the basic idea now. Let's try and form a general form of it. Uh, so the general form would be n raised to p. n is the base, p is the power. You can put an i there or an e there, whatever suits your fancy. So n raised to p means n into n into n. How many times? p times. Now I know a lot of people, uh, especially those who are scared of maths or have some kind of phobias involving maths, are very scared whenever the situation goes into a n p kind of a area, right? So all you have to do is in your head, instead of n, see a 3, instead of p, see a 5. So look at it as an example, a specific example to learn and then generalize the form out of it, right? So if n raised to p is difficult, put 7 instead of n and 3 instead of p and expand it. Put 5 instead of n and 11 instead of p and find the expansion. It would be 5 into 5, 11 times, right? So this is the basic idea behind indices or the idea of powers. In our next video, using this very basic idea of this expansion or compression of information, we'll try and derive these basic laws in indices, uh, basic laws and rules of indices, like the uh, law of addition, subtraction, uh, what does a number raised to zero mean, etc., etc., uh, in, in the next few short videos. See you soon.